So a controversial ad for a company that sells postpartum care products for new moms was rejected by the Oscars, but the company, Freedom Mom, says their ad is not violent, political, or sexual in nature and deserves to be seen. I believe it needs to be seen, especially on a national television show. So we're going to show you a portion of it, but I beg you, please watch the whole ad. We're going to have it up on our social channels. And again, we want to warn our viewers, some may consider it a little graphic. I don't. I consider it real, but take a look. much more to that ad. Freedom Mom, first of all, thank you. And the company hopes its message, honestly portraying what new moms can expect after giving birth will go viral. And to that end, new mom Ashley Graham posted this to Instagram showing her post baby body while wearing disposable underwear saying, no one talks about the recovering healing. Yes, even the messy parts new moms go through. It's been tough. Sam, I thought about this when I saw you. I was, I was like so upset as I'm scrolling through channels and seeing shows like Dr. Pimple Popper on. That's not <laughs> that doesn't gross people out. It grosses but this, me out. Like, I, so I have to, what did you, God was I, shocked. Listen, I'm disturbed, but I'm not shocked because I look back two and a half years ago when I had Sophie and I had no idea that my postpartum recovery care would be likened to that of a bad car accident. You are, what you don't see in the ad where you can go to our social pages and watch she's icing herself. She's using antiseptic she's using disposable diapers disposable underwear and she's bleeding and she is in pain for weeks while you're expected to take care of a newborn while you're expected to be very happy and let me tell you it is one of the best days of your life followed by the best weeks months and years but it's also filled with very dark times and very dark days that we do not talk about why because people think it's gross because people think it's taboo no it's called health care women's health care and the fact that we don't value women's health care in this country and in this world only highlights the misogyny that we have to deal with daily and it's costing women lives because yes there is a clinical component to postpartum depression there's also an environmental component to postpartum depression this is one of them when we don't prepare women what to expect when they give birth the highs and the lows the good and the bad that will then cause women to internalize it as fear guilt shame and that leads to women getting Guess what? Committing suicide, taking it out on their children. So I applaud this company. I'm so happy that we can have the conversation here on a national television show because most people don't want to talk about it, don't want to show it. But I, I'll, it I'll starts with us. I'll tell you something you said, and, and I remember talking to Jeff, and you were talking about what happened with Jordan. But what really hit me is like when we first started this show, I moved here to Denver. I didn't know anybody. I just met you guys, and I remember looking to Sam and being like, oh, well, she's our anchor. She's our rock. She's here. She knows she helped develop the show. I was wearing diapers when I first started this show because I started but, three, four, five weeks after giving birth. I was still bleeding. Sorry to be graphic. That's it's not real. Graphic. Sorry to be graphic. That's real. That yeah. is real. Yeah. And, and it's like, you know, I remember you told me every day when you come to DBL, you, you had to fight yourself from dr driving your car into oncoming traffic. And I was so shocked by that because I was like, this is the person I'm like, let me be at her level in every Every day you're struggling to just exist and so if I'm sitting this close to somebody every day and I don't know they're going through it how many other people at home are sitting a foot away from somebody that they love somebody that they've known for years and not known so the any information we can have all we got to do is, is talk about it all we got to do is talk about it and people will feel better about it and uh, to the moms out there that are single moms have multiples I can only imagine it's even harder. So I salute you. I salute the company. And uh, together we will change things. I know we will.